Peace lovies, it is Amira, also known as Blissfully Mindful, back at you with another Living Mindfully video in the car charging, about to run some errands. This week was pretty all right. I don't, I had, mm. do you all have this sometime? I just had like this headache that just went on for like, I don't know, it had to be like two days, maybe two and a half. And it was just like rough. I don't even know what it, I'm like, am I worried about something? Does it happen? I don't even know what it was, but <sighs> finally went away. I feel better today. It was just like really annoying though. It was like this nagging, you know, not like a migraine or anything. Just one of those like nagging little um, headaches. Don't think I have allergies or anything. So, um, not sure. I don't think that was what it was though, but I don't know, you know, hell, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know myself to have uh, suffer from allergies or anything. So not even sure, but yeah, it was like this nagging hand. Sometimes, um, you know, I need to ask, I'm gonna ask my children if they had a headache. Cause I don't know if it's like my like connection with my children or, or whatever, but a lot of times I'll have a headache like that, right? And sure enough it'll one of my kids have a headache they had a headache and so i don't know is this sympathetic headache thing <laughs> connection that i have with them or what but i might need to ask them because then i'm usually like what you know why do i have this headache what's going on and can't figure it out and this is one of those times so i'm definitely going to ask them what you know and they may be one of them stressed or something i don't know and so i had like picked up on it with our little psychic connection <laughs> that we have going on this light you know i'm trying to get the lighting right it's kind of hard because you know charging the car <laughs> um I, I don't know that's so dark let me see but this isn't comfortable i feel like i'm doing like yoga trying to <laughs> trying to get the lighting right in the car let me see how okay well i don't know i'm not gonna be on this long because i gotta go of course, I'm running errands and stuff like that, so I'm not going to really be here long. But yeah, this, because this lighting is not, like, <laughs> yeah, this lighting isn't so much. But um, yeah, that's what's going on this week. Headache week or something. <sighs> Got some stuff done around the house. Like you all saw last week, went to the nursery. Um today i i ordered a planter so you all know i'm trying to cover up my like really um uh, horrendous <laughs> eyesore of a radiator i'm trying to creatively cover that mask it or just sort of seductively you know uh shift the eye in a different direction so i came up when oh my gosh last week was so cool i went to um, oh my god, what was the name of that store? I can't even think of the name of it because I don't even think I filmed that store. But anyway, one of the stores I went to last week, one of the, you know, home stores I went to gave me such a wonderful idea. There was this planter and I was like, oh my goodness, you know, that'd be perfect. Actually, my daughter came up with the idea that it'd be perfect on the radio. I like to give credit where credit's due. <laughs> And then I just kind of embellished it a little bit more and I was like, oh my gosh, what if we did it this way and then we could do it this way. So ordered that planter at that store was like ridiculously priced and I'm just not into buying things because they come from some name brand store or whatever. Like I'm just not here for that. You know, like when I know that you could do it like way cheaper. So I'm doing it way cheaper, but it was very, it was a stunning planter, you know, nonetheless. And it just gave me the inspiration to do what I'm gonna do and probably gonna be working on that today. So yeah, the planter is, I ordered it last week. It's, I'm like, why did it take so long? But it should be here this week. So it should be here today. <laughs> so excited. Um, so yeah, when I get home, I don't know if it'll be home, be there when I get home, but it'll, when it gets home, I'm going to turn on the camera so we can open it together. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to get that, start that today. I don't know. Cause I'm feeling like I want to go ahead and pick up the plants now because I know it's coming today, but then I'm like, uh, do I want to really get the plants that prematurely? I don't know. It might be a little bit too much doing all that, but I kind of want my plants 
so I can go ahead and fill out my planter. So I got because I got to get the the plants and I want a piece of driftwood. But why do pieces of driftwood cost so daggone much? I'm like, look, I'm about to go to one of my park. You know, I stay in the parks, you all, and the bike trails and all. That. I stay seeing stuff like that. I'm like. You know, your girl might have to go take you out with me. We might have to go to the trail, find us a piece of driftwood. There are plenty of um, trails here, like creeks and rivers and stuff like that. And I'm sure I could find me a piece of driftwood. And I'm just going to have to, like, um, you know, clean it up and stuff so it'll look cute and all. I don't know. But then part of me is like, I, I don't know if I want to be doing all that great outdoor stuff and then bringing all these daggone bugs in my house. You all know I'm like terrified of the bugs. So I'm not sure if that's probably going to be a good idea if I want to go that route. Uh, is my car still charging? Okay, yeah. Uh, it's going. It's stuck. It seemed like it froze, but no, it's going. It's still charging. Cause I got to go. I got too much stuff to do, and this car is taking. It's not even that the car is taking too long. It took me forever to find a free charging station, and so now I'm kind of off schedule, and I'm wait. Somebody's waiting on me. I got stuff to do, <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, back to the driftwood. I don't really want a piece of driftwood that's gonna be all like bringing bugs like bugs are all housed up in there and then next thing i bring that thing in my house and there's like bugs all up and through my house like uh i'm not really trying to do that so i'm like i don't know i'm just kind of trying to think of somewhere else i could go look where i could get a cheaper piece of driftwood because like when I looked in that, anthropology, that's the store. So yeah, I was in anthropology and I got that idea about the planter. But anyway, I went to, um, they had some driftwood, but I'm like not about to be spending that. So I thought Michaels would have driftwood, but they don't have driftwood or I don't know, one of the craft stores. I might have to try a different craft store. Ah, I just thought... This is why I love talking to you all. It just gives me like, I just start getting all inspired. <laughs> yes, you know where I'm going to get a piece of driftwood is the pet store, like Petco, PetSmart. Yes, they would have the driftwood because they have it for like the reptile tanks and stuff like that. So, oh my gosh, yeah, it will be cheaper there than that store because uh, your girl's not about to be spending 50 and 60 dollars and 70 dollars for no daggone piece of driftwood like that is insanity so yeah my son when he, my son was little he had um he had lizards and so i remember going in the pet store all the time like buying uh not all the time you know once we decorated the uh the tanks you know i remember going in there and getting like a piece of driftwood just to, for the decor and stuff so Actually, I'm going to the pet store. So see, daggone, this list of stops today is starting to get out of control. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm going to make it all today. I have to do it today though because tomorrow I'm going to be in a mood because I got to go to DMV. I don't like to go to the DMV. I, I need to meditate and, and get my yoga in and stuff so I can get my mind ready for it. Uh, I just know like I'm not going to want to do... I'm not going to want to run these errands tomorrow. And then I just, it's just too much. It's like a lot. I got all this stuff. So I'm probably just going to just do that tomorrow. And that's it. And I'm not going to just be in the mood for, for that. So I would have to say this week's theme, mostly for me, this week's theme, you know, I've just so much about, um, just overly being concerned about what other people think i've been hearing that like a lot this week um I, I, it seems to be like an um overabundance of people very preoccupied with that i don't really understand it i don't care what anybody thinks because i don't know what anybody thinks i'm not in anyone's head it's not many of my business what anybody's thinking again it's in their head not mine i i have no right to be all up in anyone's head and thoughts so i don't really care what anyone thinks about me but i have been i've been hearing that like so much this week like in terms of like body shaming stuff going on and just people just all the uh making spectacles of people and did you all see nope see that movie i did i did appreciate that message in that movie just about spectacle like if you haven't seen it check it out for that reason you have to look at it um look at it uh yeah you can't go see that movie and think of it in the terms of jordan peele's regular writing style because it's not like that you kind of got to dig a little deeper within yourself to kind of 
go in there dissecting some stuff but anyway i digress as usual back to <laughs> you know people making spectacles of of this and that going on in someone's life and concerned about like what's going on in this person's life and why is it going on and just all up in their business and worrying about how they make decisions and I just cannot it's such a distraction from the stuff we really need to be paying attention to that it's just going over our heads and, and that we really need to be focusing on and paying attention to the, all the shady things that, that's going on you know <laughs> in the world today and just um, right up under our noses in plain sight and we just not even not even paying attention so yeah you know anyway that seems like to me that was a theme i noticed this week uh what about you all comment below any themes you notice and i mean this as a like a collective you know like um i'm, I'm saying themes i observed this week as us as a collective like what have you all been kind of picking up on i just have been noticing that and just people are just being just a preoccupied a preoccupation with what's going on with other people whether it's in a competitive nature because or a an envious nature you know either way not come necessarily coming from a good place i don't know how it could ever come from a good place though when you're preoccupied externally but because <laughs> you know the focus needs to be internally we got it we got too much inner work to do i am doing inner work like i don't get a day off honey from my inner work the universe is always knocking me upside my head oh my goodness you all got to tell you i was so upset this my relationship with the universe sometimes it's just you know i just have to just take some deep breaths because it just <laughs> i'm like what in the world you all know my new dishes that i just showed you all right yeah so the crate it was like what the hell i was like i'm like is it one of my ancestors anyway you know i got a tiny space okay my closet is just two seconds long and it is very compact everything has a specific spot and it's just so compact everything fits though but very perfectly very you know expertly i fit everything in there um my new dishes that i just bought the black ones i just showed you all on a couple videos ago um anyway it's like three actually i remember the exact time 312 because you know i'm for me numbers mean a lot and i'm always trying to decode things and if the hat you all know this is what i do look at some of my older videos this is me i'm always decoding always trying to understand what the universe is communicating with my higher self is trying to communicate to this conscious <laughs> consciously aware version of myself like what am i trying to say to myself what am i trying to bring my attention to so i remember the time was 312 a.m craziest thing i had so i have two sets of dishes now i don't have this space to have both sets out so i put the old set and i have this um little small cooler that i take with me when i go hiking you know we put like snacks in there and drinks and whatever you know we go on our hikes when it gets warmer we'll be going on our hikes but yeah i have this little cooler so i was like oh, okay well we're not using that right now let me just put some of these dishes in there so i put some of the dishes in there now the cooler is up on the upper shelf in my closet um i call it my uh my my walk-in <laughs> closet slash pantry because uh, half of it is for my stuff and the other half is for like all the kitchen stuff so like the pantry anyway it was on that side and it was on the upper shelf 3 12 a.m the thing comes crashing down i'm like what in the actual hell is going on like i mean it like shook it did i was shooketh okay it's just like i'm like i just jumped up like oh my gosh what the hell is the sky falling all i know is i heard you know it's like i thought oh gosh all my dishes are destroyed like what the hell so all the dishes in the cooler not a single scratch on him on any one of them i was like i just knew those dishes were gone you know i knew they were just destroyed but they were not destroyed so what did get messed up is one of uh, two of my new dishes my little the cute little snack bowls that i showed you i was like oh i'll use these for snack those little adorable they didn't do anything to anybody bowls that this didn't deserve that treatment i was like what the hell like so they got like 
there were cracks, you know, and you can't use it like that. Even though it's not visibly a, a big old open crack, it was, you could see the little line, you know, like those kind, right? So I was like, dang, I was so mad, you know. I just got those. I love them. I've been eating my snacks in them, and they're just so cute and adorable. And so anyway, I love them so much. So... Yeah, I was just up for, I, I must have been up for like two hours, just like in like a, trying in a, in a, in a haze, like what in the hell, like, you know, what is the universe saying, you know, like what's going on, you know, what needs my attention, and was so upset, but anyway, yesterday, I was so, look, I was just uh, devastated about that, because I love those cute little bowls, and I went and got my butt up, and went and got two more, <laughs> no I'm not no this is not acceptable I love them and I'm not gonna find them again once that collection is gone it's gone and they're just so cute and I want them there I use them a lot so yes I went back to Target and got two more it was the Magnolia collection I went and got two more to replace those because I was just not gonna be out of those two bowls even have like a lot of dishes anyway and so I can't afford for two of them to be broken and then one of my blades I'd broken um few days maybe before that I'd broken one of my blades that now I ordered those from Amazon though so it was it came in a set of four so now I only have three because I broke one and I'm trying to figure out how did I break that one I think I was getting the lime juicer and like I said it's so tight so sometimes when you're getting something it's just so easy to knock something else like this is really tight in in the closet and so I'm like dag I gotta reconfigure this closet because I cannot keep breaking my dishes so yeah broke one of those was devastated I was like god I'm like I just got this you know and I can't even replace that because well I'm not going on Amazon by another four uh four piece set for that mm -mm, no there's so that one's just gone but the one that was right at Target I could just drive there and pick that up that was different and is a little cheaper than buying a whole four set you know I was just buying two bowl so yeah but anyway you all I did not intend for this ramble to go on this long and let me see I think my car is on is about charged I got to go I like I said I got too many errands to run I've added more now because I realized I need to go get the driftwood and I want to go and get my daggone plants that are going to go in the planter um and I need to stop by Michael's and get the paint because I'm going to paint the planter because it's just like a tin or whatever but it's i'm trying to get the decor it needs to aesthetically work in my space so i gotta go get some paint i don't think i'm gonna spray paint it i think i might just brush paint it or whatever i don't know we'll see when we get the michaels like what they have wait i will see y'all in a bit Okay, so yesterday I did go to DMV. It turned into like an all day process. Like, of course it did. And of course my mood was all funky, so I didn't want to vlog yesterday. But um, I don't know, it was just so full of paradoxes. I felt like I was there all day. It was very frustrating. 75% um, of what I went to do, I did not get accomplished. So yeah, that was kind of frustrating. But I feel like I quickly recovered um, because then the, what I did get done was very, I'm sorry, I have the window open so if it's noisy, I apologize, but I need to get some fresh air. I gotta air it out up in here. <laughs> um, what I did get done was very key to something else that I'm working on. So it um, kind of opened the doors for me to be able to move forward with the other plan. So, you know, it was kind of like, 
it, yeah, it was a paradox there because it, it was like frustrating, but then I was happy about that. And I just decided to make the best of the rest of the day. Just went to return something or, well, we went, we thought we were going to return something. Ended up not returning it and keeping it because what we went to find, we couldn't find at the store. So, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, ended up being a pretty cool day. Uh, made some wonderful tacos. I'm so sorry I did not. Well, you all have seen my tacos before. Oh my gosh, you all. My garden is just... And see, that's what I'm saying, paradoxes. Because as much as went so was so negative about yesterday and just such a Debbie Downer, um, I had all these wonderful, wonderful, like, surprises that just inspired me, just motivated me, and just made me feel like you know I got this you know um, I am moving forward despite some slight setbacks so yeah my garden oh my gosh and right now you know I can't help but look at my garden as it being indicative of me and if you remember like a couple and just my life you know we're all one and my garden is an extension of me so you all know like a couple weeks ago I had to my tomato plants were dying so I had to re um, I had to transplant some of them and repot some, like just all kind of crazy stuff. But go, but check it out now. My tomatoes, yes, my tomatoes are everything. Okay, they are thriving. I'm about to have so many tomatoes. <laughs> I had to make some salsa. I have so many tomatoes, but um, I wasn't sure if the plants were gonna survive the transplant, but they really did. And you know, I trimmed their roots because I didn't want them uh, damaging my arrow garden unit because you know they kind of the roots start to overgrow and they get all in the um what do you call it oh my gosh i'm brain fart i whatever the water thingy <laughs> it's just not coming to me right now i'm having a brain fart but um yes everything the tomatoes are just killing it even the one i put in the tin pot i wasn't sure if that one it was even going to survive because it's not in the arrow garden you know i'm doing hydroponic garden and it's just in a tin can and i wasn't sure if it was going to make it you know a tin can filled with water i was like i don't even know if this is going to make it. but it's still thriving the tomatoes are still growing and I guess it'll make it so yeah very surprising wasn't sure how that would turn out again this is my first time growing tomatoes and you know I planted some new stuff some kale and some lettuce and those are already sprouting so so excited about that but yeah so had a setback with the garden um, put in some work took some actionable steps to correct it made it you know made some corrections and back on track again and that's what I'm saying just a bunch of paradoxes this week for me um, but just coming back from all of that i feel good about everything and you know i just know i gotta be more resourceful to move forward with some other plans that i have and that's okay because i don't mind i'm here for it you know i don't i'm not that easily intimidated so if, if anyone out there i know some of you all know me out there you're my friends and my family and stuff and you know <laughs> i'm just never that easily intimidated like honestly yeah it takes an awful lot i'm just resourceful it just helps me it motivates me and inspires me to just be more resourceful so that's what i'm pretty much going to do all of my plans are going to stay on track um i'm feeling good about them and yeah i was so inspired last week when i went to that nursery um i you all saw it on the end of my last video that nursery was so inspiring i'm glad i went there if nothing else just to get more inspired about my garden and what i can do with it and i'm just oh my goodness i have some new projects now that i want to pursue with my garden ever since i went to that nursery i'm just bubbling over like i want to do it so bad oh and my planters came here here's one of the planters and i have them I have them side by side. These are it's two different planters. Okay, so yeah, two different planters. So they're so cute. Like this is how they look under, and, they, and they're gonna hide this ugly radiator. So yeah, basically I'm gonna be putting plants all in here. Plants. So this will be next week's project. Um, and you all definitely will be joining me for this because it's gonna be a project. I'm going to paint this um gold because i have gold accents uh in my house and my decor so yeah there's gonna be this color yeah gonna so i'm gonna paint all this probably not the inside because i don't need to paint that because that's gonna be covered with the pebbles and the plants i'm gonna get some driftwood so about to go hiking <laughs> 
I gotta go hiking so I can get some drip, you know, some of nature to put up in here, like some rocks, some pebbles, and some driftwood and stuff like that, along with the plants. So, so much fun stuff happening. So excited about um, getting back on the trails and doing some hiking and going to visit some parks and stuff now that the weather is, is permissible. Um, get away from the plants. Uh, but yeah, in the garden, I mean, the herb garden is just out of control. I'm so proud of it. It's just so nice. It's just delicious looking. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of work, you know, all these plants and stuff I have and the garden, like, it's, it's definitely uh, something that I have to do, like, I have to dedicate, like, a day and just, like, do the maintenance and stuff. I have to clean all the pots and freshen up the water and, you know, all that stuff, but they're all so happy because of the work that I'm putting in. So, that's what I'm, like, my garden is an extension of me and it's, like, you know, I just know that when there's an area in my life that's a little dirty, a little cloudy, just like the water in my garden. <laughs> when areas in my life that are a little dirty and, and cloudy, I got to put in some extra work, you know, to clean it up, to go in there and do some spring cleaning and to do the maintenance, you know. Life takes maintenance. This inner work takes maintenance. It's, like, constant maintenance, you know. All my inner work. Even the stuff within me, like... When I went to uh, DMV yesterday, I was so irritable, like, internalizing other people's anger <laughs> or, or whatever it was that they were experiencing. I don't, I can't speak for what they were experiencing. I just know what I was internalizing from them. And I really had to just, like, release that. So I was so glad I was able to do that once I left because, yeah, I had to let that go. I cannot take on other people's luggage. Is everybody so angry, like, right now? I don't know what's going on. Um, dissatisfaction or I really can't call it. I don't know. No, even if you're not, like, in an optimal place in life it just i still don't i get the anger you know like especially directed toward other people i don't even have anything to do with <laughs> like your source of dissatisfaction you know like it was just funny like because yesterday at dmv it was like i just seemed like every from my entrance from the entrance it's just this you know gush of anger you know like i don't know why where's the customer service you know it's just like everyone's so angry it's like yeah next do you have this okay well you're gonna have to go get that like what the hell like <laughs> i'm like can we say it without the anger like what is it about i'm like that's when you first walk in then you get there and you see somebody at the counter and then they're angry too and i'm just like why is everyone here so angry like i don't know even if you don't like your job i mean like the fact that you have a job and that it enables you to um, afford the quality of life that you want and enjoy all the things you want to enjoy in life and feeds you every day and uh, provides um, clothing and shelter you know even if you don't like the job just like you know maybe appreciate that like i love being able to go grocery shopping i love being able to pay my bills so that i have a place to live and i have clothes i'm not walking around here butt ass naked um <laughs> you know just simple things i mean i don't know maybe just appreciate it for the source of that you know instead of actually what it is you're actually doing sometimes you have to like disconnect from what you're doing you really do you have to kind of i, don't, I hate to say be like a robot with it but i don't know kind of just go through the motions with it and really disconnect you know and and more connect to your inner self more your higher self more connect to that and then that way you can kind of get through it that's the best i got i just don't know where the anger is coming from and <sighs> I was like feeling how it was just like being directed to me and I've like never seen these people in my life and I was like what the hell you know I'm coming here all bubbly and maybe <laughs> maybe I'm too bubbly I probably need to bring it down a bit you know and sometimes I know I need to do that because sometimes I'm on 10 and I need to like bring it down a little bit just because sometimes some situations call for neutrality and we know just the law of rhythm, the law of polarity, you know, all the laws, you know, you kind of want to kind of stay more in the realm of neutrality because, you know, with the law of rhythm, when that pendulum comes swinging and knocks your ass back upside the head, honey, if you like too far up here when that thing comes, boom, knock it upside the head, you know, it's like not cool versus if you're just neutral, it's just going to be like this. You know, and that's gonna like knock you upside the head. So sometimes I know, and I'm constantly doing that. I'm like constantly doing this like seesaw balancing act and stuff with my energy. Cause I do know that I do have a tendency to stay up here on 10. Like I can't, 
stay up here on 10 or I have a tendency to like be so in the clouds and I got to bring it back down here and get grounded again and kind of I'm down here though I'm not up here you know I'm up here sometime but not all the time you know and I got to kind of bring it back down um relative to what's going on and where I am in life and where what the environment calls for and stuff like that so anyway once again you all I'm rambling and I got to go I got stuff to do um you all of course thank you so much for joining me as gosh since last week and when i was talking to you all i just looked outside and saw how much more the trees budded like yes this is what i'm talking about like look around at the environment and mimic it you know as far as your inner work you know the trees are budding more in within you know with your own inner work bud more you know um dig deeper push yourself a little harder get more centered and more grounded and zoom into that have more of a, a heightened conscious awareness of it and just stay in that space you know stay and absorb that and, and just the essence of it and let it consume you like just become the environment and right now is spring it's it's about blossoming you did all that inner work during the winter <laughs> You know when it was when you were all cooped up inside you were you were doing that all that work and now it's time to bloom it's time to see the fruit to bear the fruit of all that hard work that you did all winter on your inner work now is the time so if i'm extra bubbly that's why um i guess i'm mimicking the environment and the season and that's just kind of where i am because i do try to stay very attuned to that all the time like i'm just trying to be present you all that's what i do just stay present <laughs> stay present that's how you know that you'll be one with your environment one with everything going on around you is what's going on within and then everything is balanced everything is centered and life is wonderful and then you don't have to be angry <laughs> so anyway i will see you all next week if you haven't been to my channel before definitely hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications i'm gonna always bring you inspirational blissfully mindful content this is what i do here i have done it for years so i promise you i'm not gonna let you down i've been doing it a long time okay <laughs> i'm not gonna stop now i've been doing it all this time i'll keep on i'll stay consistent with it so yeah you need that you know that extra boost that upliftment to get you through the week i got you okay i've started to post on sundays because i really am being intentional about wanting to give you all this inspiration to carry you through the week you know so that's something that i have been doing if you haven't noticed i have been posting on sundays so i would definitely um do my best to keep that commitment to post on sundays so so that you um you know you have that little nugget to take with you and you all everything i've been working on um you know once it gets done it's well it may never be done but you know once it gets to sort of a point where i want to like you know kind of unveil it <laughs> yes so if you enjoyed today's video hit that like button and i appreciate you all so much i am loving the comments you all are inspiring me okay like i need the comments put give me the comments okay feedback and just words of encouragement i am loving it it's like it takes me through the week okay when i get those little comments that just maybe i'm having a moment and i just read you all's comment it just helps me so much so i'm loving that thank you so much for all of your love and your positivity i'm definitely i'm getting all that energy y'all I'm, I'm getting it okay I'm, I'm, I'm absorbing it <laughs> i am definitely enjoying that so again i don't know i've been saying goodbye for like a long time this is what i do y'all okay but for real for real this time <laughs> i'm out i will see you all next time sunflower smooches peace and love and i'll see you next time Mwah.